that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter into God's gates with thanksgiving and into God's courts with praise. Be thankful unto the Lord and bless God's name. For the Lord is good. Say that again. The Lord is good. No, say the Lord is good. The Lord is good. One more time. The Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Well, I've been voluntold to do this. And um, I was also voluntold to start off with this opening Himmenin. So I'm going to ask that, yeah, I say all the letters. All of y'all stand, would you please? Angels, we have heard on high. I think we can do all three verses. That might uh, stand us in good stead. If you don't have a hymnal, angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria! entering into, into part one of this service and um, I will be reading from Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 verse 9 chapter 9 verse 6 through 7 amen for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of this increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it, with judgment and with justice from henceforth, 
even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And now I will ask that our children uh, come and the first song will be God Sends a Child. Oh, performed by Sandra McGill. Amen.
No. Come down.
our children, everybody. Shout out, give them a shout out. Oh God, give them a shout out. That's right for the babies. Mm. Oh, good afternoon, church. Uh oh, good evening, church. I am Reverend Cheryl Dawson, and I am so delighted to be here. I just want to say something just real quick. I just want to say I'm delighted because we all made it this far this year. And it looks like we might just close this year out together. Amen. So I don't know about you, but I call that a blessing. And I'm just going to give God a hand clap right now. All right. That's right. Well, I don't have to contain my joy in the house of God. That's right. So I'm going to read my part which is part two, and it is Luke 2, 8 through 14. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all of the people. For unto you this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly, and suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, Peace, goodwill towards men. Amen. Amen. Amen, church. I'm going to bring the praise team up. While we were on lockdown during 2020 and 2021, this praise team was, was born because we could get together in a small group and sing and record the music for the church without you know, the choir, because the choir couldn't sing. And so that praise team was myself, Mildred, and Raven. And last um, earlier this year, I think it was, we were actually, this praise team was invited to sing for Berkeley School of Theology's anniversary celebration with Dr. Coronel West, and that is when we brought Nancy James into the group. And so the four of us are gonna worship and minister to you today. Thank you. Oh, come, oh,
calls me. singing the wrong song. <laughs> I think right now I'm going to ask the pastor to come up and help us do this right. Will y'all put your hands together for Pastor Webster? Come on, help us out, Pastor. Can you come and help us out? Sing. 
just an ordinary baby. the Beth Eden Praise Team one more time. As we're getting ready for our women's choir, we're going to bring up our next reader for part three. Y'all having a good time so far? I don't know about you, but I'm excited. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. It is with, I am Barbara, uh, Reverend Barbara Galloway Lee, and I am honored with joy to read Philippians 4, chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but for in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Finally, brethren, and I'll say sister, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are good, of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise, think on these things. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our newest group for 2023 we put together a women's choir in March of this year that sings every fifth Sunday. And it's been a blessing and a joy to work with these ladies and I hope you enjoy. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, and all is bright, round young virgin Holy, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heaven.
Come on, let's give the Lord some praise in this house today. Let's thank God for the band already. We won't wait till the end. Y'all don't look too appreciative. Let's give God some praise for the band. Can I share this with you? Can I share this with you? I'm a little embarrassed, uh, embarrassed, and I'll get the word right sometime, uh, to tell you this, but I, I had in my heart of hearts, I, I, wanted, I wanted to go to San Francisco and see the Lion King. Hold up, wait a minute. Um, I had never seen it on, on stage. And so I got out my little phone and started looking. And the first thing that came up, you're in luck. There are orchestra seats available for $795 a pop. I can be king in my own den with my own little lions. But what you just heard with this band, and, and yes, we do have professionals here, with this band, this choir director, these voices, there was no admission. Uh, all we want to ask you to do is to give out of your abundance. I don't want, I don't want you getting me in trouble with your pastor. You know, I gave my tithe to, no, no, no. You give your tithe at home. But we are also enjoying to give over and above, to give of our substance, if you have that. And now we also, in this age of technology, uh, this church has Givelify and Venmo and some others, but what we would need you to do if you do that and you go that route, make sure you identify Sanctuary Choir. That's so that they can get proper credit for it. This is the way that we're able to uh, afford these stellar musicians and uh, a lot of work and all of this that goes in. And so every head bowed, every eye closed. I know we pray after the offering. We need to pray before the offering. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Eternal and all wise God, in the name of Jesus, for what eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our hearts have felt, we give you thanks, praise, glory, and honor. Cause us to know, O oh God, that we have a generous spirit and we can give out of our abundance. But God, if anyone wants to give anything, Bless and sanctify that offering. Make it holy so that the things that are done with it are proper, pleasing, and wonderful in your sight. Hear our prayer, o Lord. Hear our prayer, o Lord, and grant us your peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Now our ushers are coming. Amen. Come, come on. We said come, Emmanuel. Come on, ushers. Now we've been using um, the excuse of COVID and all that other stuff. All we want you to do, and, and God loves a cheerful giver. And if you're cheerful, and if you got anything to give, we're just gonna ask that you would slowly get up and saunter, make your way down this aisle or either of these two aisles and place your offering in the basket if you make it out if you have a check and you're making it out to beth eden in the memo line put sanctuary choir please do that ma'am please sir all right come on down come on down the price is right amen come on take your time don't run and i'm gonna wait for because some of y'all got some deep pockets I don't want any cryptocurrency here tonight, though. We can't negotiate it. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Given it shall be given unto you. 
Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall it flow into your bosom. Thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. We love your dead presidents. God bless them. Bring them on. Bring them on. Amen. God bless the gift and bless the giver for the gift without the giver would be barren in Jesus name we pray amen
want to go ahead and acknowledge our band. One more time for Vince Lars on saxophone. Bill Hampton on guitar. Sundra Manning on piano. <laughs> and of course, if you're here every Sunday, you know we've got Mark Lee on drums. Chino on bass. And of course, Eric Young on the organ. And now at this time, it is now time to receive our concert choir. So if you would all please stand. They're gonna march in, amen? All right, Isaiah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good evening, church. Good evening. Wonderful to be with you this evening. I am Reverend Dr. Leanne Snowflesher, Vice President of Academics at Berkeley School of Theology, and it is a joy to be with you this evening. Uh, as you know, Berkeley School of Theology has been connected to Beth Eden for many, many years. And in fact, your former pastor, Pastor Gillette James, was on our board for many years. And your current pastor, Pastor Webster, is on our board currently. And so we are very, very grateful to this congregation and to this church for all that you have done to support us over the years as well as uh, all those who have come through to study and learn and grow and follow the call that they have been given by our Lord. I come to you this evening uh, at, by invitation of Miss Michaela, and uh, when she asked me, I said, of course, I didn't even hesitate for several reasons. One, because I love Beth Eden. Amen. Two, because I love the music at Beth Eden. Amen. And three, because you may not know this, but I am your neighbor. I live at 1201 Pine Street. So I just live down the street, yes. So I said, I have to go and celebrate with my neighboring congregation. I read for you this evening from Luke uh, chapter 1, verses 41 to 55. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she spake out with a loud voice and she said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has shewed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He hath helped the servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. As he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Amen.
Mary had a baby. Amen. That's Raven Oliver. Amen. Come on, ten of April. All right. this is a concert and usually you know concerts are you know some kind of way but this is a praise participation type of experience so y'all can stand up clap your hands stomp your feet if you know the song sing along with us all right here we go
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him, shine, in him was life, and the life was the light of mankind. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. Now, he was not the light, but he came to bear witness about the light, the true light, which gives light to everyone uh, was coming into the world. He was in the world, uh, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of humanity, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only God, Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life.
Therefore, the Lord will himself give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee in Nazareth to a virgin 
betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he, that is the angel, came to her and said, Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband, Joseph, being a just, a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream saying these words.
doth magnify the Lord. My spirit has rejoiced in God. All generations shall
put your hands one more time together for Mr. Craig and Karen Cole, our special guests this evening. I'm gonna welcome our choir president, Nancy James, to give her remarks. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Yes, I am so glad that this is over with. <laughs> but I am so thankful to my God that we got such a great choir. We have great choirs, and we sang, and we practiced, and we wanted to give you guys all that we had. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the program. Michaela did an outstanding job, <laughs> along with her, her band. And oh my goodness, the choir. We did what we were supposed to do. We worshiped God, we glorified God, we magnified God, and we, ed we edified man. So thank you for coming out tonight. All of your beautiful faces are just a joy to see. We look forward to seeing you all next year. And once again, thank you. And also, after the, after the, 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 um, the event, this is an event, <laughs> after, the, after the program, we're gonna have a light reception over in the Family Life Center. So make sure you please join us. Thank you. Thank you, we wanna invite the children and the women, those that were singing with us. This is now, we have just a couple more songs that we're gonna sing all together, a culmination of all of the choirs, the children, praise team, women's choir, and the concert choir. I don't see any of the other kids, but that's okay, they probably, come on, Maddie. Woo, 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 be careful, baby. That's all right, DJ. Come on, Madison.
Amen, amen, Noel. All right, we're going to bring our guest director and guest pianist back up for this last song. Y'all, we made it 2023. We want our pastor to come and give some words. to come, but 
with the state of affairs on the planet. With folk in diverse places who are actually of the same blood, but differentiated by other quirks of geopolitical considerations. It was in that area that the savior of the world was born. And I know that there are some young folks who will understand what I say when I said whether it is of the universe or of the multiverse. He's the savior of the world. And many of us are thinking of retribution when we think of heaven. Some of us are thinking of judgment when we think of heaven. Now some of y'all are thinking about getting in 18 holes on a golf course. But if you read the Holy Writ, and I think Dean Flesher would, be, uh, would bear witness to this, it's about what you heard tonight. Amen. The praise of God, yes. the worship of God from grateful people who know God intimately for themselves. And so I would invite you, let me make three invitations and I could do with a little bit of under. There's gonna be music in heaven now. The first invitation is, is this, simple. To realize that we're born in, into this world in some state, I don't know exactly how it is, but we are radically separated from God. And we need to be reunited by God and the birth of Jesus Christ has by itself, on its own, accomplished that because Christ, fully human, fully divine, bridges that gap. So I invite you to acknowledge, as several of us have, that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God, but that God so loved this world that God stepped into history and took responsibility for creation. So that invitation is to Christian discipleship, to be saved, as it were, whatever that means to you. The second invitation, and it's in order, would be if you have accepted Christ or you're doing it now and you need a church home, we invite you to this church home, but not just this home. We've got churches over here, We've got churches over there. We've got churches across the bay. We have churches all over who are spirit-led and Bible-fed. And we invite you to that. But third and finally, we invite you to the struggle. The struggle for justice and righteousness. The struggle for humanity regardless of what manifestation humanity takes. Whatever the form, whatever the flavor, as they say, we invite you to get into the struggle. You have not been saved if you are saved to just sit down. We've been saved to serve. We've been saved to worship. We've been saved to lift up our voices and sing to the Lord. And I got sense enough to know that this church may not be your cup of tea. Matter of fact, the institutional church may not be your cup of tea. But if you were to die today, do you know where you would spend eternity? That's what you've got to settle. Regardless of whatever denomination, whatever other iteration or manifestation. Just a head bowed and an eye closed for a moment. God, touch who you've already touched. Convince who you've already convinced. Convict who you've already convicted. Someone can come crying, what must I do to be saved? Someone can say, I need a church home. Someone can say, I've been standing on the sidelines 
watching others get bloodied in the battle and I've not done a thing. Give me that double determination, oh God, to, as our elders said, to run on and see what the end will be. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. And grant us thy peace. In the marvelous, the magnificent, the melodious name of the matchless monarch of the universe, even Christ Jesus, your son and our savior. And our very souls, as we sing, I surrender, I surrender. Our very souls surrender and sing and praise your name. And our souls say, amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I want to always acknowledge our pastor, Pastor Dwight Webster. Give him a round of applause. Most of the time, if I say I want to do something, need to do something, he says, all right, I'm fine, I ain't got no problem. <laughs> Come on, choir, let's take us home. This is going to be our benediction song. At the end of this song, please join us next door for our reception. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare. Heaven and nature, heaven and nature, sing. Everybody sing. To the world, let earth receive.
the pulpit tonight. 